Today, we're talking about creating a color palette for your business. This one is for all of my DIYers, just starting your brands and businesses, wanting to create a cohesive color palette for your website and graphics. Luckily, with all of today's free online tools, creating a color palette actually is really easy. So we're going to show you how to do this in Canva, which is a free online design tool that you will absolutely love if you're a small business owner. If you're not using Canva yet and you are a small business owner, you just wait. It's so, so good. And we'll also give you some tips on how to create a palette that is actually really usable as well. So let's just dive right in. Right, so we're going to start in Canva, which I just mentioned. If you don't know what Canva is, if you've never used it before, just follow along. It's a really intuitive, easy to use design tool. If you are a new business owner, you're going to love this tool and you're going to use it lots. So I recommend signing up for an account. And yes, you can have a free account at canva.com. So today we're talking about color palette. And before you start with your color palette, we highly recommend creating a mood board. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about creating a mood board today. I'm going to link resources below this post about creating your own mood board, which you can also do in Canva. So a mood board is basically a collection of images and graphics and textures and anything visual that's going to represent the mood or the vibe of your brand and your brand design. So because it's visual, it's going to include sort of colors you're attracted to. So that's why we recommend creating that mood board first and then pulling colors from the mood board. So you can go ahead and just start creating your mood board now in Canva if you want to. I'm not gonna go too much into it. Like I said, I'll link other resources, but if you wanna just do it now, go ahead and click create a design. Maybe choose a whiteboard that gives you unlimited space to play around with images and graphics. And then in Canva on the left side here, under elements, scroll down and you can find graphics, stickers, photos, videos, and you can throw all of these in and start experimenting with a mood board. So your best bet is probably just to open up photos. You can search here and then when you click on a photo, it's going to add it to your document. You can resize and adjust and throw lots of elements together until you've created the sort of mood you're looking for for your brand. And a mood board is as simple is that. So I've put some photos together here to represent what I want my brand to feel like and look like and vibe with. Yours probably will and it should look completely different from this, but this is just an example. Now we can get into actually creating our color palette. So I recommend just working in this same document so it's really easy to pull colors. And then coming back into elements, scrolling down and looking for lines and shapes. And you can either add squares or circles or whatever sort of shape you want really. And we're going to input the colors into those. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some circles. So just move them aside, maybe make it a bit smaller. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this same circle because it's already the right size that I wanted. So for a brand, it's common that you'll see one to three main colors, but the color palette might actually have between four and six colors. A lot of the time when you're actually creating a website, and this is what we specialize in, is the DIYing your website and helping brands create websites, you'll find that you actually need a few more colors than just three. Even though you could have like two to three primary colors or main colors, you might still want to add a few more just to help with the actual website design. There's so many elements on a website and having a few extras that maybe you don't use as often can be really helpful. So I recommend at least three main colors and maybe between four and six total. So we'll go for five today. And then it's just as easy as clicking on the shape, clicking on the color square here. And this is where you change the color of the shape. And if you scroll down, you'll see this section called photo colors, which is really handy. If you click see all, you can see all of the different colors that Canva has actually pulled from the photos. So even this all together looks pretty beautiful. All of these colors actually work together really well. And that's due to us creating a really cohesive mood board. So have a look and see what Canva is pulling from your photo colors. You might notice there's a few that stick out that you're really not liking. Or if your mood board isn't quite as cohesive as ours, ours is definitely is very matchy matchy. There's lots of the same colors. You might have some sort of rogue colors in here that you don't like as much, and that's fine. This is where we're going to experiment and pull colors that we actually really like. 
So another thing to know when you're actually building this out is try to get a variety of light and dark colors. At least have one dark color and one very light color and that's going to really help you with your website design and creating graphics. Having at least two colors that are very contrasting can help because if there's no contrast you're really going to struggle with your graphics and your website design. So for a really dark color I'm actually loving this super navy. I'm going to put this really dark blue at the bottom. I think that's cool. And then for a main color, I want like a hot pink. I think I like this green and maybe this lavender color. And then I'm going to choose a really light color for the top. So I'm loving this color palette. It's super cool, but you might not nail it the first time. Maybe you want something with more pink hues. So if you want to just try again, I recommend copying. Don't delete any of these. Only delete them when you know for sure that you don't want them. Highlight all your circles, copy and paste, and then just pop another one here and try again. So it's just a lot of experimenting and that's what design is about. It's a lot of experimenting until you get it right. So I'm going to leave that first color the same, maybe a darker, deeper pink, maybe a ready tone, maybe a brown tone, and maybe a really dark red. So now you can see we have another option with some interesting colors. I'm not sure if that one's working quite as well, but it's another option and it's all about playing around. One thing I really recommend when you are trying to pick your color palette though, is not to look at two color palettes side by side. It can be really confusing on the eye to figure out if these actually look good when they're up against each other. So if we want to actually assess what this one looks like, I recommend just moving this one out of the way for a minute and having a look at it next to your mood board. So actually I'm thinking that looks a lot better than it did when it was sitting beside this. It's definitely a different vibe than this, but it just shows how many different palettes that you can make out of one mood board. Okay, so let's say that this is the color palette that you wanted to go for. The only thing now that you really need to know is the color codes for these colors and you might want to actually just write them out so you have them in front of you on this document. I'm going to go ahead and delete this palette because I've decided that I do not want it and I'm going to pop in those hex colors. So I'm going to just click on the text and click add a text box and that's going to add a text here. I'm just going to drag it up next to my circles. And let's enter in our hex codes so we have them handy. Click on your color, then click on the color up here in the toolbar. Click on the color again, and then we can just copy this code here. And this is called a hex code. So a hex code is basically just the code for the color that you're going to need throughout any of your designs, any design software or any website software. So it's really important to have these codes handy. And if you have them out, on display like this, it's really easy. You can send this away to a designer or anyone can easily reference your colors. So I'm going to do that to all of the codes and I'm just going to keep copying and pasting this text box so I don't have to create a new one every single time. And I'm going to pop in all of these codes. Okay, so all of our codes are in. That's our final color palette alongside our mood board. If you did need to send this to someone, you can share it as a Canva file, or you could also download it as a PNG. And once it's downloaded, you'll have a perfect file of your mood board and your color palette, and you can save that into your branding files, and you can share that with a designer or whoever you need to. So that is, in my opinion, the simplest way at the moment to create a color palette for your brand. There's definitely lots of other ways you can create color palettes, but I love Canva for so much for small business owners and DIYers. So I figure you're probably going to be using this tool anyway. You might as well sort out your branding inside it too. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and learned something new. If you like this one, make sure to check out this tutorial and subscribe because we put out new videos every week. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.